What up, y'all? Forward Fabian, Big Boss Fabo, back with a video today, man. Uh, actually, this evening. It's 11 at night, and it looks like M. Thong, he just dropped his new um, single, man. His new original single titled, I'll Be Seeing You, the official audio. So, I do know a lot of people was mentioning that this was dedicated to his father, right? So, um, R.P. Rodney Thongy, man. Definitely, um, definitely uh, led your son in the right direction, so to speak, man. Um... Glad to see him on American Idol doing his thing and uh, definitely think EM has a bright future ahead of him. So let's go ahead and hop into this, man. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, forward Fabian. It's the road to a million subs. I have an EM Thongy playlist. Be sure to check out my videos in that pay playlist so far. Um, and if you have additional recommendations, go ahead and comment them down below, man. Peace, love. Let's get into the reaction video. Four minutes and forty five seconds, man. It's a long song. I like I like artists that are taking pride in creating long form songs nowadays. You know, people are not really doing that. It, it's the microwave era. People making these songs that are like two minutes, three minutes. It's crazy because we're just used to seeing him in a live format, right? We're always seeing him on stage. He sounds fantabulous, bro, fantastic in a live setting. But now that I think about it, I've never heard Ian Thongy official audio. Everything I've done has been some type of recording, a video. It's never just been him, you know, doing a rendition on his channel. It's never just been audio. So to hear the magic of the studio, right? Obviously, the crispness of his voice, the clarity, cask you know, you know, the mic capturing every little bit. He just sound he sounds so crisp. Stay in my heart, stay in my mind for all time. But I've seen the worst And I'm so I'll be alright I'm doing just fine Only for a time Where do I go from here? No, I'm lonely This is hitting right now. And I got the lyrics up, so I'm reading through as, you know, M singing to us. So, um, wow. You know, from a songwriting perspective, obviously I don't know too much about kind of his pen game and where he stands, you know, in terms of curating a lot of music. But I did do a reaction the other day to Dreams, and somebody was giving me insight, man. He was 16 years old here, and he penned this whole record, like, so I, I do I do know and understand and think that he's had, you know, so the, I guess songwriting experience and he's tested his pen. You know what I mean? He's been able to curate records and write full length songs. But uh, this one hit. This one hitting differently right now. Stay in the 
imagine how, you know, his dad would, obviously, you know, his dad proud of him. You know what I mean? Imagine, like, his dad being able to see him take it thus, like, this far in American Idol. Um, Ian talks about his dad had always encouraged him to try out for it. And, uh, you know, in his audition, he talked about him auditioning uh, to make his father proud. So, it seemed like Rodney had always encouraged Ian to, uh, you know, uh, pursue his music, you know, uh, be put on a big stage, so to speak, to be able to share his talent with the world. So, I mean... If, like it's a marketing ploy or specific that every finalist releases a single i'm not sure if megan danielle's releasing a single but i do know colin style got a single coming out bad day i think bad day's already out actually it, it either comes out tomorrow or he already released it but the point being is um that's smart if it's right before the finale everybody releases a single of their own you know they capitalize off that you know uh, I think that's very smart and it's a very interesting marketing ploy. If it's calculated. Now, if it's not, then it's not, but. I'll be seeing you, man. Dedication of Rodney Thong. R.P. Rodney, man. M, you on the road, my boy. You definitely on the right track, man. Um, I definitely think E.M.'s a versatile artist. So if E.M. released the album, I think he would have a lot of different sonics for us to enjoy as listeners and fans. So I'm definitely looking forward to the full-length project um, or a full-length project from E.M. Thongy. Check out the M. Thongy playlist. Comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this one in the comment section. Much love to everybody who's been supporting my channel and all the reactions I've done. God bless y'all. We'll catch you in the next video.